Okay, good morning. Here we are. Looking at the cucumbers. Oh, they're doing very well. This is the second harvest. Plants look very healthy. They're producing. So, we are doing great. Oh. Here's another one. There. We're going to harvest. That one is going to be pretty soon. Tomorrow. So, they are they're doing great. Wow. These bananas are doing great too. This plant, I put it here, already mature. So, for those that say that you cannot plant mature plants, Here's uh, proving them wrong. Put this here like uh, four months ago, and it's already producing. And that's the two daughters there coming up, which by November this is going to be also producing. So we doing great corners looking good squash are looking good these are um, Spanish pumpkin there's one already let's see here we go. Here we go. They are, they love this rain, so they're taking off. More cucumbers. And So, got this gorse here, mixed with the cucumbers. I don't think they like to be mixed, but it was just a test. Because the ones that are separated, they're producing better. Yeah. Yeah. Squash. So, everything looking good. The moringas are looking good. Corn looking good.
these moringa cuttings are taking off good. These are my moringas that I plant from seeds. They're doing great. Looks like we're gonna have a good year of every all the plants. So Titi. You doing Titi? Let's walk over here to the grapes. The grapes are doing good. And the muscadines. Here's the muscadines. These more muscadines. They are looking good. These are red grapes. Look like my mango tree is gonna hang on to a couple of mangoes. Here's the tomato that I showed the other in the other video. They were a little sad. They're looking good now. So they, what I did here, here was that I put a gallon jug down there with a couple of holes, 
so I watered it there and uh, this is my wife's orchids they last like 20 days we planted this orchid here in this other post we brought this from the inside put it outside here if we did the same thing with this one this one was dying inside the house and uh, it's doing great out here and here's my other uh, test experiment uh, tomatoes in a bucket and a so they are doing great same method here I did three three jugs here three gallon jugs you got basil here you got spinach cucumbers this cucumber is, a, is from a cutting um, what happened was I was trying to bring the vines up the trellis and a vine broke so I put it on a cup of water and it rooted. So I put it here and it's doing great. So that's another thing you can root uh, cucumber vines on water and uh, have a mature plant quick. I, here's my uh, 100 plus uh, Moringa seeds. These are uh, Pekin peppers here. I got them all over the property. These are tamarind, tamarind seeds that I put here. So I just put a bunch of tamarind seeds here and uh, I can start a forest of tamarinds this papaya I put them on plant uh, I transplanted them yesterday to this uh, bucket so oh man mosquitoes uh, so it look like they're gonna hang on oh yeah they're getting you're getting hydrated so I put like 22 papaya and this bucket and I got maybe another hundred here and I got maybe another hundred here all these are papaya trees I just put a bunch of seeds in there so we are see what happened this is the sweet potato and uh, I got these uh, cucumbers on trellis here um, it look like it's doing good yeah I see some see some cucumbers there oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah yep my bees are over here pollinating Here's where I put the tomato seeds and I've been taking them out of here to put them on pots and some in the ground. 
Got a little more corn here, doing great. I got the more Mexican tomatoes here. Mosquitoes are eating me. Got that one. This one is doing great. This um, this color green is about a, about two years old. It's just been doing so great here in the mulch. And uh, cut the leaves, feed it to the pigs, and do some color greens, and it just keeps on producing. So healthy. And that's it for today. Um, See you guys later. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye. Subscribe. Give thumbs up. Thank you.